everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So, today's gonna be a fun one. I have a couple of places in town that I want to hit for some zero waste shopping. You've all been so positive about this whole journey and this whole movement that I've got myself on that I thought it was only right that when I am shopping for new things and looking for alternative products that I take you along with me. So today I'm heading to Lush, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, and we're hoping also to hit up another zero waste market to pick up a few bits and bobs. So my aim for this video is that I will be able to show you five easy zero waste swaps that you can make yourself today that will make a massive impact on the environment but won't impact your life in any great way because I feel like when you start off on this zero waste journey it all becomes very very overwhelming and I think the goal of zero waste is it's achievable and it's not achievable depending on your lifestyle and I feel like I've been really overwhelmed by the whole I have to have zero waste and there has to be nothing going in the bin really the way I'm doing it is to kind of focus on the areas in our lives that we produce the most waste so the kitchen and bathroom to start with so let's get cracking, let's head to Lush. So, funnily enough, I actually won a Facebook competition during the week where, through the buttery, I was offered a free coffee and also a free co-cup, which is Trinity's new initiative to stop the use of single-use coffee cups on campus. I'm so happy that this has finally become part of Trinity life and I'm eating my own hair. So the way the co-cup works is that you pay a euro for the lid and you pay a euro for the cup. And then if you wish, you can return the cup and you keep the lid. So it's a great initiative, a great way to stop the use of single-use coffee cups on campus. And anybody in Trinity, I would urge you to do it even if you're not anymore like I am it's still a really cute way to make sure that if you are on campus you are ditching those single-use coffee cups We picked up a couple of little things in Lush, just tester sized items so that when we go home we can give them a decent try before buying the proper product. And I would say if you do want to try anything from Lush, make sure you do try and get a tester so that you don't end up with a ton of products you don't want, even if they are zero waste products. That's again not the idea of this whole thing. So Mam picked up a conditioner bar tester and I got some toothy tab testers to see how it fares with my teeth and whether we think they are worth the full purchase. But right now we're on our way out to the Dublin Food Co-op which is in Kilmainham. They've been expanding their range massively over the last couple of months. So rather than going back to the same places every single time, I'm really trying to kind of broaden my horizon a little bit and see what products are where, what's the best value, and what works best for our house. first swap no more disposable coffee cups not that we ever did anyway we we're always excellent in our house but that is 100% gone from our lives swap number two hopefully conditioner bars ma'am you'll have to let me know if that one works out for you and I'm looking forward to trying that myself swap number three toothy tabs from Lush in replacement of conventional tube toothpaste. So swap number four today is fruit and vegetables. You know if you watch any of our other videos that we absolutely love to eat fresh fruit and veggies in our house and especially as somebody who spends so much time in the gym and spends so much time trying to eat well and be healthy, they are staple in our diet and we consume them in bulk. So it was really important 
for me today to make sure that we made some really good sustainable zero waste fruit and veg swaps i have to say the dublin food co-op in kamenum surprised me no end we were so happy with the selection they had and the quality of the food is absolutely amazing so i'll show you really quickly what we got today this is a completely zero waste fruit and veg haul just enough to get us through as always the next few days to make sure there is no food going in the compost bin that is edible this is probably a little bit unique to people if you don't know that you can actually get loose popcorn kernels there comes a night when you want to watch a film and you want a bag of popcorn and what do you do you go and you crack out the microwave popcorn two minutes in the microwave and you're done however this works in the exact same way just without all that packaging all that plastic and even all that cardboard you basically do it yourself at home on the pan and then you can add in your butter or your salt as you like so not only do you have zero waste with these but you also have complete control over the calorie content so a fabulous little zero waste snack that i'm really excited to get my hands on this weekend and i'm just getting so distracted by this beautiful little girl <laughs> Now that is a bad head and a half. I love when you wake up in the morning and you realize it's almost lunchtime and half your day is gone. At least I'm dressed and ready to go to the gym despite all this. I wanted to show you my fifth zero waste swap for this video and that is coconut oil. Everybody knows that like I was sing from the rooftops about how amazing coconuts are. I absolutely love them. I love to eat them. I love to drink them. I love to smell like them. And sit like this. Let me get my chair. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> my knees are broken. So this is the makeup remover that I used to use. It's the Simple Cleansing Oil and it's absolutely amazing. Now I do love the product. However, I really wanted to move away from the plastic bottle with this guy. It was not making me happy anymore. Although it is a recyclable container, I found that I could use coconut oil in a glass container and also use a more natural product. You do not get more natural than coconut oil. So let me move to the bathroom. Let's try our toothy tabs and let's wash our face with some coconut oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my toothy tab and what the lady in Lush said to do was to pop it into my hand, grab my toothbrush and then just kind of make a paste from it. So let's see how that goes. Did I like that? Okay. So I'm not gonna say I didn't like it because that's the first time I've ever tried it and I feel like you can never ever judge a product the first time you use it. However, I found it to be a little bit messy in the sense that on my hand it was dripping through my fingers and onto my sink as I was using it. So you find that you have to wash your hand. I have to wash and dry the handle on the bamboo toothbrush and I also had to wash down and wipe down my sink afterwards, which in the morning if you're in a hurry is not ideal to me. However, my mouth does feel clean, it does feel fresh and I did enjoy the kind of sensation of the charcoal in my mouth it was really weird but in a really good way so I think that I'm definitely gonna have to come back to you on this one as to whether I like the toothy tabs or not it definitely wasn't an outright hit but it certainly wasn't a miss either as far as washing your face with coconut oil is concerned take about a teaspoon pop it between your fingers and just massage it until it's more of an oily consistency so that you can actually use it as your makeup remover or as your face wash. So this morning I'm gonna use it as a face wash, which will double as a moisturizer. It's totally counterintuitive if you have problem skin to apply oil to your face, but actually it works wonders. And when I'm done, I'm just gonna take a damp face cloth and wipe away any excess, and there you have it. So that brings us to the end of this video, everybody. I smell like coconut and it is the best thing in the world. I'm gonna go and get myself ready, crack on to the gym, make what is left of today a good day. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also please don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified every single time I post a new video. And I really, really hope I will see you back on my channel again. Bye.